this E92 front bumper and it's a bit different it's an M2 front bumper so as it wraps up we'll unwrap it in a minute but um, we're gonna take the front off everyone's going why would you buy an M2 front bumper it's not an M2 it looks good that's what I like that's what I'm buying what I'll do is we'll get one two three four off and then three bolts one two three and then behind here up in this corner here there'll be two eight mils so we'll take the front off and then we'll eye it up okay so front bumpers off it was quite easy actually about 15 20 minutes um right the problem we have is you've got one and two over there these are actually the brake ducts um to call the brakes they go through here into there now for the time being i'm going to remove them because they're in the way of the bumper but you can cut them back to about here and they'll still be useful because obviously they'll line up with events on that bumper but for now just to get it fitted and test fit and see how the fitment looks we're just going to unclip them and remove them for now the car isn't being driven hard at the minute anyway so then we're going to fit it see how it looks and then uh, we'll catch you back up in a minute okay so we've semi got on the front we haven't put no bolts in but it lines up all right it's a bit of a stretch we're not too sure if, if it sits over the light there like that. i think it does but these all line up with a little bit of persuasion it lines up it's not going to be perfect obviously it's a fiberglass but as you, you can see it looks aggressive once it's on the car so i think what we're going to do is we're going to get these bolts bolted up along the top around work our way around and then we'll go along the bottom and see how it pans out looking at the washer jets I don't know if you can see that, but I don't think they're too lined up. I think these are going to catch the washer jets. So we'll see how it goes. All right, so it's very, very cold. So what we've done is um, we've put the, the grills on, the honeycomb grills on. They're only temporary. Don't start judging because they're going to come off anyway. So when the body shop get it, they're going to put it back in. We put them on temporary to make sure they don't catch anything on the crash bar. Because I was a bit worried because we've had to cut all this excess off because that mark there says to me that that's where the crash bar goes. Got the same on the other side. So I'm hope we cut this out to avoid the crash bar. Um, put just two normal screws and washers in for now. But the body shop will do it a, a proper job. But we just wanted to make sure it all lines up. So we'll get it back on and see how it goes. Oh, it's cold. Okay, so we've run into a little bit of a problem. The problem is, where this bumper is a little bit thicker than the other one, the screw to hold this side arch in, um, the side part of the bumper up here, there's two bolts here, one there and one there. Where this is slightly thicker, the screws are not grabbing. So they're just too short. They're just not grabbing enough. So we need to try and find something a little bit longer than these to make it grab. <laughs> So, done this. It's, it's a bit messy at the minute. They'll straighten up with a file at the body shop. Just give all this a wipe down. But the other one's cut like all the way in here. And I can't see the reason for that because I've cut this little bit out. It's going down. The latch isn't hitting it. So I'm kind of hoping it should stay like that. But it. <laughs> but the gap is. It's not major. But I can't remember if it's meant to be like that. I'm just looking at other cars. I car, but everyone has slight. I, I can get my finger in there as well, so I'm thinking it's not too shabby to be honest with you. But the backs come in the pieces, subwoofers will hear. But um, the front's done now. Yeah, thank you. Front's done. Ready to go. Is that it? Oh, I pulled up. Oh man. Mush up the pencil. <laughs> <laughs> What you're gonna do? You mark the two light where the two little. Yeah, we 
need a hand pump. Okay, so we're jumping forward a little bit. Um, I, was put, I was editing the video and I noticed that there's a really loud buzzing noise on the microphone from the last bit of footage. So we're gonna skip forward, it's the daytime now, I'll give you a proper look at the bumper and then we'll move on to the next video after that because we're doing something else today. But, so here's how it looks at the moment. Um, the fitment's pretty good. Like, it looks so, so aggressive. Like, I know we ain't got the grills in at the moment, but yeah, like everything. So what we had to do was, you probably saw from the last clip, Oh, I don't know if I can get them now. They're in there tight. Is we had to cut out little notchings because on the back of this is like little notchings, so it sits in straight. So yeah, they sit in quite well. They actually work. We tested them on the road. Um, but like the fitments, really, really, it's not amazing, but it's good. Do you know what I mean? Like everything's nice. There is a little gap here, but that was like that on most cars. We have the little gap there. So I'm very, very happy with how it looks. So, yeah, like I said, I'm very happy with the way it come out. It was a lot of headache. It isn't like a direct fit. There is a lot of stuff you've got to cut and swap round and everything like that. But like I said, this is how this is primed, delivered. It's ready for the next paint or, or whatever I go to choose next. So, but like today, uh, let's watch the next video because I'm going to move on now to taking headlights out and we've got a nice little trick going on with the headlights. But yeah, catch me on the next video. Thanks for watching. See you later. Bye.